What's going on guys? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So we're trying something new. We got like a little new toy today that we're trying to work out. So uh let's see how we get it done. But we gotta we're gonna do something quick and easy. So we have here our uh 2016 Equus. So one of the things we've actually realized is one of the headlights started turning pink on me. So we, we you see here we have the high intensity discharge lights, right? Um so and then these are like little LEDs. So it, the joint looks great when it turns on. But the issue is the actual projector turned pink. So if you guys don't know what that means, when you have a HID light, uh, when it turns pink, it means it's about to die. So eventually what happened? It died. So now let's uh, see what it looks like when, it, uh, <laughs> when you turn it on. So as you can see, we got a full headlight here, but on this side, we have the LED ring around it and no light bulb. So you can still see at night because of the fog lamps and how bright this stuff is, but it's not what we needed to do. So what we did was we found some diode dynamics headlights. They say they plug and play. Let's see if they work out. Let's see how easy it is to change them out. So let's do it. All right, so what we did was we turned the car around and um, <laughs> first thing you wanna do is pop these clips out, right? So, ah! sorry, <clears throat> let's pop these clips out. So, one thing about these clips, they are not your normal clips. Um, on the Equus, you have to push it actually in. So the way it's gonna be sitting is like this. You actually have to have like a, push device and push it down in order to pull it out because if you try to like pry it out you're going to end up just breaking it and these things are pretty expensive um, it's just a, a quirk of the, of the Equus so you always want to push down to release it and that's how you start taking this uh, plastic cover off because there are a ton of these things all the way around so go through the, the process of get you a good clip removal tool I'll put it in the description below. It's, they come as a set, Amazon, real cheap. And you want to just go through and pop all these things and remove them so you can start taking all this plastic off to get to it. So the weird thing is I got two of these stuck in my hole. I don't know how. Uh, anyway, once you get this off, uh, lay this little plastic cover to the side so you don't break it. Because it is fragile. All right, so if you're looking at the manual, it says there are actually three screws. So there's two on this side and one down in here. I'm going to try to do it without removing this, this box. So we're going to go into a time frame, a time lapse, just to uh, do this fairly quickly and uh, make sure we're not uh, breaking stuff. And I need to reference this because this looks like it's a screw here, screw here, screw here. So that diagram may have been wrong because this, just looking at it, we see our headlight tabs here and here. And this looks like there's another one holding it in here. Hopefully we don't have to take this whole bumper off because that would suck. Moments later. Sure. Mm -hmm. This thing feels like it's hooked up to the bumper. what that manual say here's why I say that all right so whenever I go to push this you see that bumper flexing we got to loosen this bumper all right so in order to do that I got to reposition it
see this lip here? This all sits under the bumper. So you gotta pull this bumper out in order to get this light out. So the shop manual may say, oh, it's just three screws and, and take it out. No, that is not the case. All right, so we're gonna just pull this thing out and then we're gonna set it up on the bar. So once you have this thing out and you have it on uh, your workbench or whatever, you wanna kind of visually inspect, make sure everything is looking up to par. So we know our ballast is down here. So uh, you have open and close. So if we turn this this way, it should have some resistance to it. And that lets you know that your rubber grommet is working. <laughs> All right, so we jump on our shop guide. It actually tells us how to uh, get this bulb out without breaking stuff. This low clamp. Oh, okay, so this clamp here comes out. Pull it straight down. So you remove this little tab in the middle. And you just pull it straight down. So this tab here, don't take it all the way off. You just want to remove it out of place and then it, it frees it up. And we can take a look at our D1, D3 diode dynamics bulb. Looks about the same. Yeah, so plugs the same. Yeah, so we have the right bulb. Uh, so let's see what's missing. So it looks like we probably have to take this screw out. Just a clip? No, that clip screws all the way in. What it is, we can't use a uh, power tool. Hang on. Yeah, you don't want to use a power tool on this. You want to use a manual screwdriver because what's happening is these headlights are, um, they kind of balance and they turn with the, they're active headlights, so they turn with the, uh, the steering wheel and stuff. So you want to make sure you're not breaking that mechanism, which you could probably do if you put out quite too much pressure with the power tool. i to drop that screw. What's going on each side? This thing just sits in there. Yeah. And you can see it's it's burnt out right here. You can see the little cloud in there. And the ballast is cloudy now. Compared to a, a good one and a bad one. You can see it all. So what we'll do is we'll remove this little piece. So we get the same kind of fitment. Don't touch this bulb because the oils from your hand will cause it to explode. Make 
sure your orientation is back right. Push it back in place. So I was putting my head in your way, but I need to see. this down really good. Pop that in. Put the tab back in. And you are rocking and rolling, baby. So best practice would be, let's go ahead and do the other side too. I got time, but I'm gonna do that off camera. So let's go ahead and close this episode. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. We are uh, gonna close this video on out because it is hot and I gotta enjoy the rest of my day. But until next time, guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like always, until next time, it's about that remote life because we are doing the things we love and loving the things that we do. We are out of here. Peace.